All right, now let's make some noise because that, after all, is what you're watching this video for. Um, when you uh, come over to your browser and um, open up what it, where it says lessons, now this is not what you're what the white lessons that you're watching right now. This is what comes with Ableton Standard, and then under lessons it says samples. Now twirl that open, and it gives you a bunch of samples that you can use. Um, to make some to make some noise with now when you click them it will it will preview uh, the samples uh, so you can listen to them before you use them in your song so when I click it right now you don't hear anything but if you go down here you can see there's already a waveform loaded uh, that's connected with this sample and as, you, as soon as you click the little um, headphone here it will it will play that uh, for you Now you don't have to uh, always uh, click the headphone buttons. As soon as it's turned on, it keeps going, and you can click on another one uh, to see what they sound like. Well, most of these are um, uh, not very well sounding, so I recommend um, uh, buying some loops from either LoopMasters.com or uh, VengeanceSound.de. Uh, the latter, the latter one would be best if you're into like electronic music. Um, but um, let's go down and find hiphop.wave and drag that over to um, your audio track here. Um, when you open Ableton to make, or make a new project, it already has one audio track and one MIDI track. Well, in this case, we're not going to use the MIDI, so right click on this one and delete the MIDI track. And let's just play with the audio track for a while here. Now, um, as soon as we hit the play button, you will notice the, the hip hop sound will start playing, which is a sample we just dragged in. Let me drag the master volume down a little bit so you can hear my voice. And then um, up here on the top, you will see that my tempo has changed to 95. That is because that sample uh, has been measured as a 95 beats per minute, and nothing was already in this composition, so it changed. The timing. If, however, you click on it and you drag up, you can speed up the global timing. And you can hit the stop button to stop playing. Um, so now it really isn't hip hop anymore, it's 135 BPM, but this is how you can change the tempo. Um, also, when you're playing something in um, Ableton, and meanwhile you want to preview a sample, then it will always play that sample in the same speed as the song you are currently working on. So let's play hip hop here, and uh, let's scroll down to where it says uh, shaker. And you will notice that they play in the same tempo more or less. If we take the volume the speed down a little bit to 100 BPM, it will be a little more clear. Well, they don't really go well together, but that is how you drag samples in to uh, and turn them into clips and preview samples at the same speed.